Hi everyone. I look for a lot of the different secrets and mysteries from all around the world, looking for the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, the Son of God, who was risen from the dead and took all the sins of the world away. Now the world elite, the Illuminati, the Freemasons, and even the spiritual realms that are all around us, they leave their signs and secrets right in front of us. In symbolism, and on our channel, we bring all this back to the Word of God, and we show how we're nearing the end of days. Well, there is an extreme amount of hate coming out for Donald Trump. This is all part of the Bible's end times. We are now nearing the time of the Revelation 9 event, when the keys will be used to open the abyss, nuclear war, and the end times beginning. We are now in the time of what's known as bitterness after Obama. You see this bitterness right here? Revelation 8. Excuse me. Let's get that just right. Revelation 8. And the third angel sounded, there fell a great star from heaven, burning as it were a lamp, and it fell upon the third part of the rivers, and upon the fountains of waters, and the name of the star is called Wormwood. And the third part of the waters became Wormwood, and many men died of the waters, because they were made bitter. You see there? That represented Obama. During this event where Obama received the Nobel Peace Prize, Peace Prize when he first got into office, this Norway spiral happened and it went right over to where Obama basically is. It shows the demon spirit of wormwood falling into Obama. And then it says the waters will be polluted with bitterness. People will become bitter and hateful, leading to war. Obama was in charge when the Fukushima radiation disaster happened and nearly all of the ocean of the earth was polluted. There is wormwood happening. We had the BP oil spill where Obama polluted all of the Gulf. Exactly right there. See it again? God says you need one, two, or three witnesses for this. Here is the third one. Obama had the Flint water supply where many people died and people became bitter. Lead was in the water, which is known as being bitterness. Do you see that there? Three instances with a sign in the sky. It doesn't matter that he has left office. He has set up a giant facility right in Washington to organize hate and bitterness in groups all across the world to protest everything that is going on. It is even going to lead to World War III right here. He has set up all this up for World War III. They actually want something to happen to Donald Trump. See this tower being destroyed? And then judgment begins. You can see it all right there. The Pope's involved too. See the Pope and Russia and everybody involved? This is literally called the beast out of the sea in the Bible. He has spread bitterness everywhere. Now we will near Revelation 9 and Revelation 12 when the dragon will come after the woman. In the end, it will end up with a great earthquake. And the earth helped the woman, and the earth opened her mouth and swallowed up the flood which the dragon cast out of his mouth. This right here is actually a scheduled great earthquake. 11.5 earthquake or so on the west coast. Some think that's a date. We are not sure. But you can see all of the signs of the bitterness are coming. He is not done yet. He and his wife were known as being the bitter legacy. Even Michelle Obama was labeled as the bitter woman because she came out so many times saying she hated the USA while it was basically being run by white presidents. That's what she basically said several times through there, that she was never proud of this country until Obama became president. In other words, she was a bitter woman, just as Obama is full of bitterness and hate. This was shown to us. It was shown an Obama character going after the two witnesses, and they were busting him. MacGyver shows this. MacGyver and the Phoenix Foundation. I show how these things are all around us. The Phoenix Foundation represents this. The woman were given two wings of a great eagle that she might fly into the wilderness. You see that there? The Phoenix, the eagle, to protect the woman from all this bitterness and hate that Obama has spread. That's why radical Islam is spread around the world. It will bring more bitterness. Right here it shows an Obama character poisoning the waters. 
They were dumping. You see here, they're dumping in the waters. They were dumping toxic waste into that stream. And then they go after the witness. Mark, Mark. There is Obama, right there, dumping and poisoning the waters with bitterness. They were dumping toxic waste into that stream. Mark Farmer. He's not exactly Mr. Clean. He's known to have heavy mob connections. Mob connections from Chicago, as we've been showing. Obama is big time affiliated with the mob around the world. There's no proof. No legal evidence. And now they bring the witness. Literally in the Bible, the witness, just as we are doing right now. And no case. I work at a place called the Phoenix Foundation. And they get the witness. See there? And then Obama and all of his group go after the witnesses. On your side. You can identify one of the men. You're a witness. You can identify one of the men. You're a witness. The witness right there. And the witness goes to bust the Obama character for everything that he has done. And he's trying to run away and get away with all this. He gets busted in here and they take him down. Dog underwater. He's also known as Earthquake. That is what the witness's name is, representing the great earthquake the phoenix and the great eagle for the woman and the earthquake I sure remember him earthquake, earthquake and they go and they take everything down so you can see that this bitterness is going to spread all around us that's where all this hate is coming from directly from Satan Obama, the deceiver who poisoned all of the waters. And now it's getting near the time that they're going to go after the two witnesses and begin their fight with them. Confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus, believe in your heart God hath risen him from the dead, and you'll be saved. Obama has betrayed us. He has set it up for all of these nations to rise up for World War III. And the witch, Hillary Clinton is right in their ear with Russia. See all of that right there? This is what they plan for our United States of America to try to destroy everything. Confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus, believe in your heart God hath risen from the dead, and you'll be saved. Hallelujah. This is an awful lot of evidence against Obama, and now he will try to run away and leave all of his bitterness behind. He's busted by the witnesses. Thank you very much, everybody. I'll see you at the wedding feast of the Lamb. The waters are made bitter. Most of the world now will be full of bitterness and hate. This fulfilled scripture, all of the waters of the world were polluted by Obama. Wormwood. The fallen angel. Hallelujah. They were dumping toxic waste into that stream. Farmer. He's not exactly Mr. Clean. He's known to have heavy mob connections. There's no proof, no legal evidence, and no case. I work at a place called the Phoenix Foundation. Please be your phone. There are no words to I'm on your side. Stay down. You can identify one of the men. You're a witness. There's night in a fog underwater. I sure remember him.